military equipment and personnel trained in chemical warfare make an unusual sight in the cathedral city. They have the detection equipment that will allow them to properly, safely and very detailed survey of those areas. And if there is any contamination, they can then safely remove that and have it destroyed. The forensic team examined the grave of the son of Sergei Skripal, the former Russian spy who was targeted in the attack. Tonight, he and his daughter are still critically ill. The people of Seoul are urged to stay calm. Also tonight, after the insults, a surprise meeting is to take place between President Trump and the leader of North Korea. The court sees the contents of the bomb that partly exploded in a tube carriage in London last September. By increasing numbers of young British Muslim women are deciding to wear a headscarf. in South Korea for the biggest ever Paralympic Games. Coming up on Sports Day on BBC News, we'll preview the penultimate weekend of the Six Nations, which could prove pivotal for Ireland as they attempt to win the title again. Good evening, these are the scenes that greeted the people of Salisbury today as just under 200 military personnel arrived in the city and onto the streets. Specialist troops with training in chemical warfare will be working in the area where the former Russian agent Sergei Skripal